you don't have an SD card reader, um, but you do have a chipped GameCube, um, you could just use CDRs for everything. So there's two ways to do it. There's the, if you already have a Swiss disc burned, you could just burn another Game Boy Advance. And then I'll show you kind of an easy trick in order to get to it, but you just need to know which button to hit. So press start to boot Swiss. Now because it's booting from the disc, it's going to automatically read the DVD drive. So you have to wait till it's totally booted. And then you just swap the disc with the Game Boy interface disc that you burned. And then you hit the B button, and that highlights this down here. And hit A, and this is where you can select your device. So you would just select DVD, it rescans the drive. And there's your Game Boy interface. But a much easier way to do it would be to actually build a Swiss disk that has the Game Boy interface files on it. So much like um, much like on an SD card, you have to make sure all the files are there. Uh, and there's links on the, the page that show exactly how to do it. But basically, you build a bootable Swiss disk, have all the Game Boy interface files, and uh, that's pretty much it. It scans everything as it loads, so all you have to do is just boot right in, and then you can select whichever ones you want. I have the original Game Boy Player startup disk, uh, low latency, ultra low latency, and then the regular, and then all the other files are there to allow for the configuration. Um, and yeah, same, same features as the other one, but just all on one disk.